Mike, I think we've found the spot. It appears to be just a sculpture. It certainly doesn't look like the picture in the history books. The book says the experiment was held in the old, at the University of Chicago in an old squash court underneath the Stag Field Stadium. That was a football stadium, but it looked like a castle. This certainly isn't it. Well, I think this must be the place. Here's a marker that says that it's the site of the first sustained chain reaction on December 2nd, 1942. For me, as a nuclear physicist, this is sort of like coming to the place where it all started. I agree that this was the single most important scientific event in the development of atomic power. You know, I'm feeling really weary. Why don't we just sit and rest here for a bit? Enrico Fermi that had the idea as to how we might make a control chain reaction. He really invented the pile. The big problem is that you have to slow the neutrons down, way down to room temperature, so that they don't make reactions with other isotopes. And the moderator has to be something that doesn't capture neutrons. What Fermi suggested was ultra-pure carbon in the form of graphite bricks. And that's what they used. Looks like you fellas sharpened hundreds of pencils. Well, they stacked all this graphite up with uranium in between into a great big pile. Of course, if the reaction rate went too fast, the whole configuration would blow up because you've made a bomb. Right here in Chicago? Well, that's why they used cadmium, cadmium rods. Cadmium soaks up slow neutrons, and the cadmium rods were pushed in and out so that the neutron density didn't build up too fast. So the experiment was done here in the squash court at the CP1 file by Fermi and lots of other physicists on December 2nd, 1942. It demonstrated that a graphite nuclear reactor could be built and operated reliably. And just now, you know I had the strangest dream that I was present at that experiment. So, well, you were saying experiment helped end the war. How so? Well, there were three bombs built. One of them was made out of uranium-235 that was separated at Oak Ridge, Tennessee. It was called Little Boy. The other two were plutonium-239 bombs made out of plutonium that was generated by the reactors at Hanford. The plutonium bombs had to have a special way of assembling them by implosion with high explosives. They weren't sure this was going to work. So one of the plutonium bombs was used and tested at Trinity site in New Mexico in July 1945. That was the fat man. The other two were dropped on Japan. That ended the war and the extreme loss of life that would have resulted if the war had continued. 